My name is Judy Christensen. I've been a member of St. Paul's uh, since 2000. I grew up in the Methodist Church. Um, my parents, my grandparents, my great grandparents were all United Methodists. I guess it's a family tradition. This last Labor Day weekend, my 25 year old niece passed away from some complications to do with COVID. Um, she was actually doing better and we thought she was almost out of the 14 days when she suddenly took a turn for the worse. And when she passed away, she left a five-year-old daughter, Harper. A lot of people at St. Paul's know Harper because I babysat at Harper a lot and she came to church with me and she came to small groups with me. Um, and the most recent thing with this in our lives has been the outpouring of comfort and support from people at St. Paul's who I feel like are God's working through them, sending me emails and text messages and uh, calling me and cards and, and continuing because Jessica passed away in September and this is now November and I still get, how are you doing? Um, uh, asking how Harper's doing um, and just that outpouring has meant so much to me and those kind of things don't just happen at St. Paul's when someone loses a loved one. They happen when someone's sick. They happen when even someone has things that aren't kind of devastating but things that are happy like a, a marriage in the family or a new child or a grandchild in a family. So that's just St. Paul's is comforting each other and being there for each other. And that's how I feel. God's comfort is through, through all of the St. Paul's comfort. My star this year said seek. So I try to, the list that you send out every Wednesday, um, be faithful to sending notes, cards, um, contacts uh, to the people. I, I realize from the receiving end how important that is to hear from other people. So I guess I've been trying to use my seek to seek out other people. Uh, so just recently, I attended the all district charge conference and there was so many things throughout that evening that really touched me about new ministries that are happening um, that are happening in the Kansas City District when it's hard for churches when they aren't doing things in when they're not having worship and regular activities, but they're finding ways to create new ministries and they have this networking set up and and our pastor laura is in charge of one of the groups but they've divided the churches up so that the churches are working in small groups and working sometimes on projects together and sometimes on being supportive of individual projects at other churches and i was just like wow this is what the church should be carter um uh, got to talk about hub and uh, it was for me, being from St. Paul's, it was fun to see people uh, on the video that she showed from St. Paul's there working uh, to help out with the hub ministry. And I'm glad that that the Metropolitan Church has a, I'll say, a calling now. Um, and I'm glad that Carter, this was a good fit for her, for her to become the minister there. Uh, it just seems like it's it's a perfect opportunity for, for God's presence in Wyandotte County. I also was impressed with um, Roland Park. I know where that church is and I know it's a small church. And um, 
the pastor there, Bruce Draper, um, spoke about the food pantry and about how they they went from serving like maybe 20 people to way over that when when the people were losing their jobs and and when there was shortages of food and when um, people were sick and so they found a way to connect i just was so impressed by all of that that i uh, uh, found hope for myself saint paul's the United Methodist Church as a whole, Adam Hamilton, um, one of the things that he talked about is a quote, when the building burns down and the pastor leaves town, what's left is the church. I say St. Paul's hasn't burned down, but the doors are closed to regular activities. The pastors haven't left and neither has the staff. Instead, they're all getting very creative on, on how to do new ministries. And St. Paul's is still here providing hope for all of its members and those beyond the, our doors. Our, our Father, who art, art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy, thy will be done. done on earth, earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.